family and community are at the heart of the Reggio Emilia philosophy. In Reggio Emilia, in Italy, the community is considered an important and abundant resource for the schools to draw on. Parents are treated as partners and collaborators. The Reggio Emilia philosophy envisions children growing and learning, encircled by three teachers. The first teacher is the parent, supported by other family members. The second is the classroom teacher, supported by professional colleagues. The third teacher is an environment designed to inspire and enable learning. A program that's truly inspired by Reggio Emilia will not look exactly like the schools in Italy because the philosophy calls for teaching that is responsive to local realities, including the ideas, beliefs, understandings, hopes, and expectations of local communities. Communities within the school and within each classroom are also crucial. In Reggio Emilia, there are always multiple teachers and other adults in every classroom who take time to discuss with each other what they're seeing as teacher researchers and what they're noticing as they pay attention to the children using their hundred languages. The teachers share ideas and theories, and they plan together for future projects, provocations, and changes to the classroom environment. The children in a classroom also form a community that helps all of them learn together, sometimes through explaining and demonstrating to each other, but often simply by discussing their ideas and experiences and theories and plans and imaginings. These peer interactions which are so crucial to Reggio Emilia style learning, happen when children are given opportunities to work together and to discuss their learning experiences with each other. This can happen while they're doing activities such as project work and provocations. Ideally, teachers will also help them practice learning with and from each other. For example, by holding regular classroom meetings and discussions in which everyone participates. For teachers who are not in a Reggio Emilia-inspired school, finding a community of adults who are interested in supporting and discussing this approach can be more challenging. But there are Reggio Emilia educators all over the world who inspire and help each other and are open to discussing its philosophy and practice with anyone who's interested. Reaching out to members of this community can be reassuring, galvanizing, and helpful on a practical level. You can also assemble a local community of adults who care about what's going on in your classroom by sharing your observations, theories, and plans, and asking for thoughts and feedback from co-teachers and assistants, colleagues and administrators, the students' families, and anyone else who's sympathetic with or interested in child-centered approaches to teaching and learning including your own family and friends. Developing strong, positive relationships with families and the community can make teaching easier and more rewarding, but it can take time to become comfortable with a Reggio Emilia approach to building up such relationships. This series provides some relevant teacher activities for practice, and your answers to the following questions may also give you some useful insights. In your locality, who's considered the child's family? Who are the child's teachers? Who is the child's community? What is the meaning of family? What is the meaning of community? Can a child belong to multiple families and communities? And if so, how are the various families and communities related to each other? What is the relationship between the school and the family? And what's the relationship between the school and the community? By helping to strengthen the ties among family, students, professional educators, and the general community, you can place your classroom within a strong network that supports the learning and growth of all of your students. Mm -hmm.